thân tượng em nói vừa Long ago, in a little village, lived two brothers, Hungbu and Nobu. Nobu, the elder brother, cared only about himself. He was greedy and selfish. On the other hand, Hungbu was a kind and warm-hearted man. He liked to take care of others. They were very different. When Hungbu and Nolbu's parents died, Nolbu kicked Hungbu out of the house. This is my house now. Get out! He said. Nolbu took everything. He became a rich man. Hungbu had nothing. It was a long, cold winter. Hungbu and his family had nothing to eat. Hungbu went to Nolbu for help. Dear brother, can I borrow some rice? My children are starving, he said. I don't have any rice to give you. Go away, Nolbu said. Nolbu's wife also ran out of the kitchen and said, We have no rice to give you. Take this snack and never come back. She slapped Hungbu with a wooden spoon. On his way out, Hungbu touched his red cheek. There were some cooked rice from the spoon. Oh, thank you, thank you! He shouted and ran home. He gave the cooked rice to his children. The long cold winter passed and spring came. Flowers bloomed all around the little village. Birds sang everywhere. A swallow family built a nest on Hungbu's house. One day, Hungbu came home from the field and found one of the babies on the ground. Its leg was broken. Hungbu picked it up. Poor little bird, it must hurt. Don't worry, I'll take care of you, he said. Hungbu treated the baby swallow's leg and put it back in the nest. Fall came and all the birds flew south for the winter. The swallow family at Hungbu's house also flew south. But the next spring they came back to Hungbu's house. The mother swallow opened its mouth and dropped something on Hungbu's front yard. Hungbu picked them up. These are gourd seeds. I shall plant them, he said. He planted the three seeds. The three seeds grew and grew and turned into three gigantic gourds by fall. Hungbu and his wife decided to cut the gourds in half. Back and forth, back and forth, the two saw the gourd. Finally, the gourd opened. To their surprise, rice kept falling out from the gourd. My goodness, look at all this rice. Our children will never go hungry again, they shouted. Let's open another one, said Hungbu's wife. Back and forth, back and forth. The second gourd opened. Hungbu and his wife could not believe their eyes. Inside were all kinds of treasure. Now we are rich, they shouted. Hungbu and his wife started cutting the third gourd. Back and forth, back and forth. Can you guess what came out this time? Make a guess. It was a big house. Now Hungbu was richer than his brother Nolbu. Soon enough, Nolbu heard about Hungbu's fortune. What? Hungbu, my poor brother, is now rich? Are you sure? I can't believe it, Nolbu said. He went to see for himself. Nolbu couldn't believe his eyes. Oh my goodness! He said out loud, "Hongbu's house is so big; it's bigger than mine."
How did you get so rich? Nolbu asked Hengbu. Hengbu told his brother about the swallow family and the gourd seed. Aha! I'll do the same thing. Nolbu thought greedily. A swallow family flew in Nolbu's house. Nolbu broke one of the baby's leg and treated it. The swallow family returned the next spring and dropped gourd seeds on Nolbu's front yard. Nolbu was so excited. I will be richer than Hungbu. I can't wait till fall. Nolbu shouted. The gourds grew and grew. Fall came, and it was time to cut the gourds. Nolbu and his wife were excited. Let's cut them in half right now! They shouted, back and forth, back and forth. They started cutting a gourd in half. The gourd finally opened. Guess what came out? Don't be surprised. All kinds of red and green goblins came out from the gourd. They started hitting Nolbu with their wooden clubs. Take this and that, the goblin said. Stop! Please stop! Nolbu cried. The goblins went away. Nolbu decided to open a second gourd. There must be treasure in this one, he said to his wife. However, it was not treasure. It was water. Water started coming out of the gourd, and it did not stop. Nolbu's house floated away. Now Nolbu had no house to live in. My house and my treasures are all gone! He cried. What are we going to do? Cried Nolbu's wife. Hungbu heard about Nolbu's misfortune. He went to Nolbu and said, "Come live with me, my dear brother. There is plenty of room at my house." Oh, Hungbu, you are so kind. I have been so wrong. Please forgive me," said Nolbu. "You don't have to thank me. We are brothers, remember," said Hungbu. Nolbu became a new person, and the two brothers, Hungbu and Nolbu, lived happily ever after.